Do any of you remember a game called Slender the Arrival? <laughs> Even better question, how many people actually like remember Slenderman at this point? Is he still popular? I mean, really. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Slender the Arrival. It got an update, and a pretty substantial one at that. Now listen, me and Slender, we go way back. The first time I ever peed in my pants was because of Slenderman. I do not want to talk about that. I don't even- what was I talking about? Yeah, Slender the Arrival, I got an update, I'm gonna play it, that's what this video is. Watch it, watch it and enjoy it, you're gonna watch it and you're gonna enjoy it, okay? Gosh, get off my case. Land for sale, 20 plus acres. That's really good. Uh, I don't know exactly how much was changed in the update. From how they advertised it, it seems like they did a lot. Did I ever play the first game? You mean like the 2012 game? I did. Never finished it because it was difficult. It wasn't complicated or anything, you just go around picking up pages. Yeah, that's a great summary. You're welcome. Um, Man, it is very pale blue out here. Yeah, it, I can definitely testify the graphics are a little bit better than they used to be. Missing. Can't believe they stole from Hello Neighbor. Charlie Matheson Jr. I should keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah. How tall are we? We're like chest level with a doorknob. Oh my gosh. Are we 12 years old? I'm like 99.100% positive that is not how doors work. But okay. No, no, listen. How is your door closing if it swings out both ways? Oh, that gives me an idea. Are we caring about lore? Do you want me to read this? Do you want me to put on like a sultry voice and read through them? Like Markiplier? We are below eye level with the light switch. I, I would say we're maybe like five feet tall, if not less. Oh. Didn't even let me. I actually pressed 1 and 2. Really short, probably 5'11". I really don't appreciate that, man. There's nothing wrong with being 5'11". In fact, I'd say that's a pretty respectable height to be at. Not that I have any experience in that department, but... Oh, Slender Man. Give me the Slender Slam, please. Slender Sam! Hello? Yeah, that's about the average room of a high school girl, if I had to say. Can you see it? Oh, I do see it, actually. Uh, but yeah. No, Kate's... Uh, certifiably insane. And I think we should leave. I think the cowboy and Slenderman could probably be good friends. Seems like somebody owns pigs over there. Uh, but they, I think they have a lot of a lot of common ground, you know, they could probably bond over quite a bit The biggest memory I have in my mind of this game was a few years ago I went over to like a friend's birthday party and for some reason he got like the slender the arrival demo on his Xbox And I just like sprinted through the game like tanking all the jump scares and everyone was flipping their lid and I was like What is wrong with you people? Hope nobody felt like seeing things today. I, I wish I could be scared of stuff like that again. Not saying I don't get scared, or I'm like impervious to jump scares. The the fear is kind of not there. <laughs> Let me just take this entire painting and stuff it into my scrapbook. Who's gurgling in there? Better cut that out. Hey, this is what you call squatting, ma'am. Uh, you're not a ma'am, are you? Are you? Be real with me. 
Oh, well, she definitely was real with me. I did ask for that. I don't enjoy horror games that are too linear. A lot of horror games kind of devolve into walk along set path, maybe grab a few items and just see a few scripted events. I like games like these and get out of the house where there's actually like a tangible threat to avoid. Find me, Lauren. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll see if I can get to that, Katie. Need CR? CR? He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Yeah, whatever, Kate. <laughs> After an area hiker failed to report back into park staff, rangers feared an undernourished bear may be roaming the park area. After several failed attempts, the bear was never tracked. Oh, we know it's not a bear. It's actually Cylinder Man. That house irritates me. Uh, I can't imagine what this would start. You're really kicking in quick, aren't you, buddy? I think if I spun around quick enough, I would get him to teleport in front of me. Dude, really? Right next to my page, too. Huh? I'll be taking that. I do like the, the slender redesign. His face before kind of looked a bit strange. Not gonna lie. This is a beautiful game, by the way. I don't know if I'd... <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I can't even be scared right now. Look at this view. Might go for a dip. Wish they made him taller. Oh, uh, well, you know. We're probably 5'11 and he's 6 foot, so... Something like that. That's true. We are, like, super short. Maybe he's just, like, a completely normal-sized dude. Honestly. There we go. Okay, I think that might cover it for this area. Alright, well, Cylinder Man is not... wasn't too much of a problem at the moment. Just dips in to say hi every now and then. Does he pursue or just teleport in a fixed location menacingly? I don't know. He seems to just be intimidating me at this point. Whoa! Hmm, is this a dead end? I don't really want to... Anyway, Slenderman, be on your guard. I did hear there might have been an undernourished bear in the area. Keep yourself safe. Uh, dude, I'm looking at a map. Here we go. Six of eight pages. Yeah, keep it in your pants, man. Aha! He was guarding it the whole time. <gasps> no! By the way, I'm not... Ooh. I'm not controlling the running in this game. It's running on its own. Huh? Okay, well... Wasn't expecting to do that first try, but we did that. Five. Well, I missed a lot of those. I mentioned it. <laughs> I mentioned it to my doctor again when I saw him today. He really wants you to come in sometime just to talk with him. I think it's a good idea. He also said that confronting this traumatic event in some way could be very beneficial too. Don't worry. I didn't tell him any specifics about what happened. I do think we should go back out to that park, find your mom's house sometime soon. I think being out there and seeing nothing will help get rid of these stupid problems we've both been having. These shacks better have lore drops for me taped to the side of them. What a ripoff. Four. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it hasn't been working out for me either. It's one thing to ignore something you know is just a hallucination. It's something else entirely to ignore all the noises I hear outside my window at night now, because I can't see whatever it is that's making them. Anything like that happening around there with you? It sometimes sounds like whispers. Your friend, CR. Okay, I'll go to the big, ominous structure. So am I being led to believe that Kate or CR are running around taping letters to the walls? Oh, there's that loser again. Charlie jump scare. Ugh. Ba -ba -ba. All employees must be removed from the vines via emergency list as soon as possible? Nah. They can work for their paycheck. Alright. 
I will say, back whenever I was younger, this was the one section that um, messed me up. So if I do get scared, it's probably going to be here. Need to get out. Well, in that time you took ruthlessly slathering paint into a poorly written message, you could have at least made some progress, but no, you got to exposition for me. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's... I wouldn't call that getting out. It has begun. You actually have to be really on your toes for this section. Slenderman? No big deal. Woman? Now that's a problem. To be fair, me and Slenderman are tight. She is tapping for sure. The tapping is accelerating. Now, no. Okay, I'm gonna guess the generator's over there, because that's not lit up. Okay, maybe that's an indicator. I think she's so far she lost aggro. Wow, that is attention span hours. Couldn't relate. Okay. Oh, I thought Slenderman was supposed to be in this section. I thought he appeared. Okay, I think this is the right place. It is. And it's that easy, okay. Hey now. Calm yourself. Little lady. What do you think you're doing? Talk about short. If we're five foot, then what are you? Yeesh. What are you- Oh, hey. <laughs> Listen, maybe another time. I'm busy, okay? I'll call you later. Um, Alright, let's dip. I'm not ready for commitment right now. Much like actual short people, they will maul you. You have to say... Compliments to her for being able to hold a camera this steady, right in front of your face. Generally, if I were in like a life or death situation, I think it might be easier to cope if I didn't have a camera in front of my face. Has she been like looking through this the whole time? Take Charlie. Charlie, I hate to tell you this, but that bear sucks. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a really nice bear. I didn't mean it. Whoa! Charlie, lunch five. five what's? Mother, I'm right here. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Do you guys remember the first time he came down here whenever he proposed to her? Well, I'm gonna run off and die, I think. It's not a demonic bear, it's just a really ugly one. Okay. Dang it. Train. Train. Flashbang to me, thank you for that. Okay. Oh, curse you. <gasps> Shut up right now, Mom. I'm finding trains. Step off! Oh my gosh. Put a cork in it, guys. What are you, a WWE announcer? <gasps> what is that? Oh. I think Charlie might have died. Or perhaps something worse. Hmm. To be fair, if Charlie wasn't 
A little twerp, maybe he wouldn't have gotten killed. Lol. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I too can draw a circle with an X going through it. <gasps> the homeless are here again. <sighs> I'm not running a charity around here. <laughs> well, this is new. Is reality. Excuse me. Was this the mind of Cylinder Man? I bet there's a puzzle here to solve. Luckily, I'm on the case. That was an easy puzzle. Okay. I am off the case. Not a horror game without the hospital segment. So true. Obligatory hospital. Hmm, okay, let's see. Um, Charlie, Slenderman trains. There's a connection here. His reality. With all these trains? Surely there's some, this must be a connection. Dr. James, you've got some answering to do. What kind of hospital is this? Rate my setup. Toxicology notes a unidentified fibrous black substance has been formed in the patient's blood. We will need to send several samples of it to an external lab for detailed analysis. Mm-hmm. Yes. The slender sickness. I know this all too well. Did not need to open the door that hard, my dude. Think about what you've done. Okay, you're done. Operating room C. Aha, a small bear. Surely this has some significance. Attention all employees, we are investigating reports of suspicious activity in the basement. Rest assured we consider the safety and well-being of our staff and our patients of utmost importance. Please refrain from entering the basement unless absolutely necessary. You can stick it, Emily. That uh, looks fine to me. I don't see anything. So let's see, they recovered Charlie. Uh, did some tests on him. Found the uh, black goo. I assume Slenderman probably came back for him and uh, wreaked havoc on the hospital in some way. From what I can gather, anyway. Yes, Minecraft nausea effect. Very cool. The child. Or perhaps Slenderman is Charlie. That's a theory. Brian, please stop fretting about the nonsense. The conspiracy theorists have been sprouting around here lately. It's probably just the minimum wage riffraff. <laughs> Ranks for attention because their brains are smoother than an ice... Okay. <laughs> their brains are smoother than an ice rink. Flooded with petroleum jelly. Karen, you can't be saying this. Whatever. Karen did not need to go that hard calling everyone a smooth brain. I'm gooped up. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I be straight gooping sometimes. Don't beep at me. Protect yourself from others. Okay. No. You just said the door was blocked. Don't play with me, Charlie. I've been known to crack a few kids in my day. Bet that's gonna unlock in a few seconds. <gasps> this is the slender room! And a dead person, I guess. Not that that really matters, but... Charlie, stop acting up. Get out of here. You look ridiculous. If only they could have maybe drawn him with some high resolution crowns or something. It's sweeping time. Oh, get down from there. Somebody needs to teach you some manners. Cylinder man, I'm not enjoying this wild ride right now. Team, it is with heavy hearts that we inform you of the tragic loss of one of our esteemed colleagues, Dr. James Anderson. We mourn his passing and kindly request that rumors regarding the circumstances of his death not be discussed out of respect for Dr. Anderson's memory and his family during this difficult time. Shove it, Emily. Never liked James anyway. Up. Oh, point of no return. 
inconvenient ledge. Honestly, yeah, Charlie, Charlie living out in a place with 20 acres of land. I know that kid was stacked. Okay, maybe not the kid himself, but like, let's be real. That that little twerp had it coming. Slenderman's just like modern day Robin Hood. You buy a house with 20 acres of land. He's like, yeah, not on my watch. Let's do a little bit of dispersing, if you know what I mean. And honestly, he's a real one for that. Jamal. Been weeks. Get the maintenance department to fix the door alarm override immediately. We can't keep going to the basement to manually override it every time there's an incident. This has been happening non-stop, and we have neither the time nor the energy to go into that basement on a regular basis. Okay, yeah. Get it fixed, Jamal. What are we paying you for? Anyway. Oh, he drew trees on the vent. Is this a Five Nights at Freddy's reference? Okay, who was doing drugs in here? <laughs> Are we gonna have a poppy playtime chase sequence? Hey, buddy. Looking a bit red. Put some sunscreen on. Aloe works great for that, by the way. To the depths. Is this a hospital for the derangedly short? Good point. Actually, no, because I think we're playing as a different character now. We're playing as a dude, so he's taller. Right? No, we're, we're not the same person as before. Yeah, look at look at the hand. That's definitely a man hand. Dude's got some clean fingernails, though. I'll give him that. Very aesthetically pleasing fingernails. I love the mortuary assistant. There we go. Blood key. I remember the mortuary assistant. I think there was like a, a well-known bug. Like the entire game is based around guessing like the right spirit based off of clues. And apparently there was a bug that um, completely messed that up and you could just not get it right even after correctly guessing. You're not gonna catch me by surprise. That's my funny job to close the door on myself. You don't need to do it for me. Uh-oh. Can I die in this part? Uh, by chance, how would a man like me avoid that? Okay. In that case... Okay. A lot easier than actually legitimately doing anything. Okay. Aha! We've escaped. Oh no, red room. By Camellia. Um, really, dude. I'm not helping you with this. Can I leave? Uh oh. This seems like a slender man. Your flashlight is dead. So you say... Oh no, he's getting closer! Oh, okay. Aha! We have backtracked to the top of the building. Please refrain from smoking on the roof. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Just try and stop me. There was a really bad horror game at one point uh, called Event Boy. I played it. I thought about doing a video on it. 
so horrible. Just watch, like, Manly Badass or something. Play it. Charlie, you're ugly? Question mark? Oh. You guys like liminal spaces? Uh, end of this? If you say so. Purify? I'll do that. Save your son. Oh. Gotcha. That's what we're the, we're the, we're the father. Okay. Cleanse with fire. Ah, Lauren. Gee, if you're not having an existential crisis today, then I don't know what. If he wasn't that old, he could have started over. I do not believe that's the point. I want to die. Don't say that about yourself. Practice um, positive thinking or something. Let's see. Collect. I think Charlie may have seen something. Something he was never meant to see. Enclosed is a recording of my findings, and some documents I came across. We're dealing with something dark here, Kate. Something I can't explain. Uh, you need to play the tape you picked up first. What a stickler are you? Okay. How many people are we gonna play as in, like, the, the next hour? Oh, gosh. On site of the Matheson family farm, continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. Okay, two things, Charlie. Sorry, not Charlie. CR, whatever. Um, get a better microphone. And two, I think I like my voice better than yours, and I'm not gonna lie. I might have to switch it up now, because I, I feel like I've been grossly misrepresenting him. <coughs> I say as my voice cracks. Charlie. That's a nice drawing. CR as in VCR? Maybe. That would be a nerdy nickname to have. I, I <laughs> Okay. Shut up in there. Tuba practice. Thank you. All right. Okay. Cellar or chapel. Cellar sounds fun. I like cellars. I dabble on them in my free time. You gonna like turn on lights or oh I see. Gotcha. Oh ho, ho gas canister. Excuse you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's all I needed. Quick to the granary. So we're having a few shadow glitches on the terrain here it seems. Interesting. Okay. Don't look at that too long. Oh. <laughs> Don't run at the child. Good advice for real life, too. CR, did you not mention any of this in your note? Oh, hey, by the way, I got chased by, like, mutant shadow children. Okay, who was practicing in here? Yeah, okay. Aww. I wouldn't have drawn the picnic basket in yellow, but he is an idiot, to be fair. Oh, what was that? Luigi Mansion? Uh huh. Uh, I, I bet there's probably something hidden in that picture or something, if I had been able to get the read thing down. What would have happened if I tried to run through the barn without turning the light on? 
I don't know. I don't even know if it would have let me. Maybe it would have just done like a visual screen effect and prevented me from moving or something. This guy's grain silo is empty. His harvest was not bountiful. Alright, are there children in the field still? Judging by that soundtrack, yes. I need over there, buddy. Kinda went hard, not even gonna lie. Ugh. Whoa! Okay, that startled me. May the angels guide you home. Is that Charlie? I'm just saying. This kid is stacked. You know? He's clearly... With this photo and all that, that get up. No need to flex on me like that. I got the sumo fit on. Goodness. That guy's firing off all artillery in there. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna assume that means this is a chase sequence. Ah, nah. Grandmother and Rose insist on some fatty... what? Fatty tale that a strange man took them away. Am I the only one keeping their wits around here? Maybe I should run away too. Maggie. 1905? Slenderman's an old head? Since when did children... Ugh. What a pain. I... I did that perfect... Okay. Never mind, he got away. He just tossed his camera, took a few steps back, and then ran again. Alright, one more side quest. This one should be Kate's, I believe, if I remember correctly, and they haven't changed this anyway. There she is. What makes you say that? Uh, flashing lights, warning by the way. I give up. <laughs> that was too hard. Oh, I telepathically shut the window. Nice. I I'm gonna guess you're talking to yourself like a nutcase. Those wind chimes sound a little too gentle for what's going on out here. But, you know, I'll let it slide. Stop opening my doors. Okay. Don't go outside. Gotcha. Would be funny, though. Can I close the garage door? Or... No. Okay, well. Probably not important. Close the bathroom door in the corner of the house. What if he came through the toilet? There's no point he's already inside. Hide in your room. I can do that. I imagine someone who would teleport probably can get wherever he wants, but... Goodness. Skibbity cylinder, cylinder man, shut up. Great, now somebody draw a picture of Skibbity Toilet Bow with Slenderman's head. Alright everybody, I hope we've all had our daily dose of blue light and... epilepsy. So, did Kate get thrown through a window by Slenderman's swag style? Or did she jump out of the window? I'm... I'm still unsure on that part. His arrival is coming. <gasps> that kinda reminds me of a game called Slender the Arrival. I did get an update recently. Red, 
It's red! Ah! He's trying to touch me. Okay. Of course. The, um, radio tower. Never mind. That's my bad, really. Anytime I see two well-placed trees in a path now, it's just like, yeah, these are gonna fall over. Let's see if these fall over. Yeah, you see what I mean? These two? Yeah, okay. Keep it to yourself. Huh? Ooh. Uh, that way is too easy, so it's not there. Um, not that way either. Maybe it's this way. Yep, knew it. It's just not even fair. Okay, he moved. Getting snared by Slitterman's tentacles. I get a tent. I get an achievement for getting touched by tentacles. Oh, great. I gotta freaking play his little mini game again. Okay, whatever, man. Can you teleport to the same spot, man? Please. Okay, great. I love gaming. I see you. There we go. Yeah. Dude, you're being such an op right now. Never mind. I'll just... Yep. Somewhere else, please. Okay. Does Slendy have a bow tie or a tie? I think he has a regular tie. Pretty sure. Ooh, my battery's not doing so hot. Yeah, whatever, man. Epus. Ah, figures. Your flashlight's dead. Don't cuck me like that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? That, no, that's my bad, really, honestly. That, I don't know what I was thinking. Of course. Okay. Uh, everywhere I turn, it is there. Every time I open my eyes, I see a dark shadow in my home and my dreams. Everywhere it eats me, rips and tears and breaks and slashes my insides, my brain, and it nerves my everything. Oh. I'll just take this. A lot of yapping, if you ask me. Quick, I can still beat the game in under an hour. Oh. Just you. Okay, well, I can't do the gravelly voice for CR because I found out he's a nerd. Kate, this is pretty exciting, isn't it? This whole mystery, the missing boy, the sightings, the arson. I'm glad I get to share this adventure with you. I can't help but feel sad for Mr. Matheson. He lost so much. I wish he would have let... No, okay, whatever. Yeah, you seem pretty excited for a missing child. Listen. Come on. We're tight. Sheesh. You're ugly. I get the feeling maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Um. Oh, okay. I, I just needed the lore. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Let's calm down. Kate! Kate! Your eyes are glowing. What? And that's the lore drop, everyone. Kate was the basement monster. Hey, make it through the forest without catching on fire once. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen on the first attempt. I have a tree fall on my head. Try hardcore difficulty if you haven't already. New level Genesis unlocked in chapter select menu. Are we gonna... I think we are. Miss 411 in the signature non-consent move. So true, honestly. Oh! This is... Did they do the, the original Slender map? Oh, they did. Okay, I should be fine here, because I've done this before. There's the chair. Yeah, whatever, man. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, they definitely shrunk the map down, because what? There's no way. Oh, it's so bright out here. I can just see. Uh, hey. What's up? Yoink. Okay, that's, uh, we have made a circle. Huh? Go away. Okay, it's a good thing to have gotten the, uh, the bathroom page so early on. Because even if, you know, Slenderman in this version seems to be significantly neutered, uh, getting cornered still would not have been good. Seven of eight. Now, where is the big rock in the middle of nowhere? Is that it? Big rock? Formation? What did they do to you? Okay, no, never mind. Maybe? Nah. Just a boring regular rock. Oh, hey. Yeah, this was the rock. I ran right past it. Great. Uh, don't worry about it. And now I shall die. I have plans for you, Kate. Ah, so you play as Kate in the first game. I gotcha. When you dollar mode? I think they removed that for copyright issues. You could also play hardcore mode. That's an option. I don't know what hardcore mode would entail. Oh, have I been playing on easy? Oh, don't tell me. There's only like three chapters. Actually, only like two chapters where it actually matters, so... I didn't set it to that. Also, the game did not make it known that there is a difficulty selection. That's that's not my fault. I mean, it's hardcore mode. How, how, how hard could it be, really? This will take but a second. Don't even worry about it. Yoink. Be having that. Uh, is this map layout different? It is. Hey now. Ah, uh, dude. Step off. Stop levitating towards me. Uh...
Huh? Why did he pat me on the shoulder like, hey, how's it going? He really thought he was smooth with that. Okay, well that's interesting. He can just decide to kill you, I guess. Fair enough. He thought he had white flesh. He's, I mean, supposedly he's like over a hundred years old, so I mean, I'm not really gonna fault him too much for, I don't know, not having the best skincare routine. Uh, the map seems to be not the same every time. There's different landmarks in different spots. Hey, pick it up. If he teleports too close to you, he can apparently insta-kill you, so we're gonna try not to let him touch us anywhere. Toilet. Ridiculous. I swear if I see my camera, like, slowly start panning to the side and my character lock in place, I'm gonna be so irritated. There we go. See you guys. Hardcore mode ain't nothing. Beat the 8 pages level in under 5 minutes? Wow. Uh, hardcore mode does not seem to be any different, like, at all. Let's go check up on my favorite young lady. Who's gonna possibly rip me a new one. Miss Perspi- <laughs> Oh no. That's what hardcore mode does in this. You have to find gas canisters before you can fill the generators. Well, let's see if she can still be stunned, at least. Your money's on 10 minutes? We'll see. Maybe. Cylinder Man might make an appearance here in hardcore mode. I hear my fine lady walking down the way. Well, anyway. I'll tell you what, though. I need to get around you. Come on. Just walking my dog over here. She wants me so bad, it's embarrassing. Really not that big of a deal. I don't know what her deal is. Give her a smooch. Ah, uh, she might not give me a choice here. I'm not gonna lie. I I've got things to do. Oh, hey. Slenderman's joining us. Gotta be happy about that, right? The range is insane. <laughs> what would you do in this situation? I think I still need another gas can, maybe. Look at her go. Missing one more generator, I don't know where that is. Not fair, man. I need... Hey, I stunned you. Thank you. There's my last can. Well, I hope y'all are uh, enjoying me flashing this young lady. I can't say that. She, <laughs> Slender Man, stop blocking the young lady. She's trying to get through. Come on now. Actually, you know what? Keep doing that. You've lost your money? Sorry. I didn't expect the last generator to be this hard to find. Excuse me. Oh hey, to whom it may concern, my flashlight's running out. No, my my flashlight is indeed out now. That's probably fine, honestly. All right, I accept it. Finish the job. Where in the world is the last generator? Well, I got my gas. I'm gassed up. No one can deny I'm gassed up. Yeah, but seeing is a privilege we do not have, currently. Watch, I'm gonna run. Hear me. I don't really need to beat that. I basically beat it. Don't worry about it. Right? Right. I'm glad you all agree with me.